Hello, hello everyone. The stream is starting. How's everyone doing today? Oh my gosh. This base is now just as busy as the last one. Well, okay, maybe not as bad. Actually, it feels like there's space here. Hi, Swift! Always nice to see you. Also, the dungeon's open! That's really lucky. Yeah, it just opened. Oh, huh. I wonder if reloading the game has some effect on that. Oh, I'm doing great today. Truth be told, uh, my pupper Annabelle. Hi, Ron. He hasn't been doing very good lately, but I got her some meds yesterday that actually are finally doing the trick. And she seems so much better today. And she's so much happier, and I just cannot be happier with my life right now because of it. Last set of meds did not work. But these ones, like, immediately took effect, so I'm really happy, and she seems to be recovering now. She's all happy now. She's more dog-like now, rather than just being sad. But I'm great. Also, I'm really excited because we're going to get to breed a pal that I've never had before today. Because we're going to be breeding one of the secret pals. Also, I should introduce myself for the, anyone who's new. Hi, I'm Black Cat. I do dungeon crawler, ARPG, and standard RPG, as well as some survival and open world games. I've been mostly playing Pal World, but I usually play Path of Exile. I will be playing Path of Exile coming up in a few weeks, a lot more, when the new league launches, but till then, it will be a very much pal world. <laughs> okay. So, for those who aren't aware, there are pals in this game that you cannot find in the world. They can only be accessed through breeding. And we made the preparations last stream to actually get one of them. And we're going to start working on that. Won't tell you immediately who it is. You'll you'll enjoy seeing her soon. Oh no. So if a wrap falls apart, does it just become like flat? Because like it's it's its function is to wrap, and if it's not wrapping, then what is it? Does it lose its identity? That is way too existential to get about food. Also, important. Lilene. Ooh, pizza. Oh, yeah. I guess that kind of would be like pizza. Yeah, I guess that does make sense. A bunch of toppings on top of... A piece of bread with sauces. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Not really traditional pizza, but I mean, kind of works. Okay. Well, let's check. This base should be empty now that we've uh, got our last couple eggs out of it. Well, I'm here quickly. Copper ore. Wait. If a pizza is basically just a wrap that is unraveled, what does that make a, uh... What's it called? A calzone? Like, when you... Take two halves of a pizza and smush them together into, like, this, like, Hot Pocket-like thing? Is that... No, no, but, like, a big one. Not, not like, not like a pizza bite, like... Like, guilt log I eat it. I mean, like... I think they're called calzones. Hold on, I need to look this up, or it'll drive me crazy. Yeah, it is called calzone. 
So our calzones wraps them. Hmm. I think calzones are wraps. A weird thought. Also, for anyone here who actually plays Path, uh, we do. There is a. Uh, there is a uh, live stream going on right now where you can get uh, Twitch. You can get Twitch drops for Path of Exile. Please don't leave the stream. But if you want to get Twitch drops for Path of Exile, you can put it on the background. A calzone would be a burrito. Yeah, I mean, I kind of do want pizza now. <laughs> Damn it, Swift! Why did you do this to us? How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. <laughs> uh oh. Has an opening on planet where a burrito doesn't. Hmm. But here's the question Is the actual, like, wrapping things around part important for a burrito, or is just putting two sides together enough? Like, what? is a burrito hot dog is a taco well okay now you're just now you're just crazy <laughs> i'm not singing for the entire stream i do actually like singing but not doing that <laughs> also i should go over this i got I made Grisbolt's minigun while I was off stream. Let me just grab Grisbolt. Oh, there's the trunk in my way. That's why I can't move. Now I can ride Grisbolt. Oh, wow. He actually has like a decent jump. And we can use yellow tank now. Oh, man. Well, I'm happy. That's awesome. That's only level one yellow tank as well. Like, I'll I can upgrade that four more times. And also, I can level Grimjow up to uh, level, four, level 50, too, as well. Doesn't matter what the surrounding food is, you just have to have an average of two items or more inside. So, I've lost, I've, I've lost the plot. Uh, are we, are we talking about a taco or a burrito or a wrap or a pizza? <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. What's going on then? Oh, I thought you said not a burrito. Okay, yes, a burrito. No, comma, a burrito. Okay, that's what you were trying to say. I did not read it that way. Also, I made a new hat. Yay, more health. Cool, while you're out, can you get some for the rest of us too, Ron? That'd be great. Swift, I feel like... At this point, you're just trying to torture people? Like, this This seems like just you're just trying to make people angry now. 
Like, I mean, I don't disagree with you. I don't know if I agree with you, but I don't disagree with you. <laughs> oh, what the fuck are we doing anyways? Oh, yeah, eggs. We have any eggs ready besides the Lilines we already got? Mm, not doesn't look like it. We should actually look at the Lilines we got. Oh, we did get a large dark egg or a large frozen egg, though. Wait. We need a... Uh... The ocean is not soup. I will stop you there. You gotta go? Or does that not mean I gotta go? If it means I gotta go, bye. If it doesn't mean that, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Like usual. Are you being bred? No, you're not. I want a food. I don't want a food. Herb roasted lamb. <laughs> oh, egg? Egg. Egg? <laughs> Egg? <laughs> okay. I'm I'm lost and confused, so I'm gonna go into the the dungeon. You mean can contain? There is not, there is not meat and fish and vegetables in everything, <laughs> in every soup. I can't bring a fire type with me. What am I doing? Oh, we didn't even look at our Lyleen. So, Heated Body, which is good on Lyleen. Nimble's never bad, Diet Lover's never bad, and Muscle Head is only good if you want a non-work speed, pal. Not bad, though. Does seem pretty appealing. Anyways, anyways we should get our Lyleen on the, at the other base. We should do that first before we go dungeoneering. And also, I hate the fact that, like, I switch between burning alive and freezing alive every time I swap bases. Swift, you are a soup heretic. I'm sorry, I've said it, you're a soup heretic. Super tech. So much stuff to pick up. Firelinks, what are you doing? Besides being useless. Oh, yeah. Here you are, Ron. Ron? Meet Ron. Ron, beat Ron. Hi, Ron. Also, hi, Ron. Also, Kyle Links, stop being useless. Eh. Yes, please cool this place. It is so freaking hot here. I burn alive every time I try to come here. Wait, no. I'm not going back. No. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, um... Uh... Wait, what? Automod! <laughs> Automod 
senses. <laughs> I'm gonna hit allow on that. <laughs> Auto mod says apparently saying you are a shark is bullying. <laughs> Oh no, I'm a shark, I'm being bullied! <laughs> oh... That was the part it banned. Yeah, it highlighted you are a shark specifically and nothing else. Not- I thought it was good- it was highlighted die. Yeah, me too, but no. No, apparently you're bullying me by- by saying you are a shark in a sentence. I swear, I don't- <laughs> that's- that's so silly. I'm going to slowly walk down here. Yeah, you you better be silly for for silly. Oh, you are silly. Better be silly silly. Whatever. Fuck it. Better be sorry for bullying sharks or whatever you do. Uh, okay. I'm gonna put you back out and you back out. Now we need to put out. Okay, they're both pink. We need a blue menacing. Ideally, something that would work well for what we are going to have. Curious. This is going to be mainly attacking. Don't work speed stuff. I don't like the skills we have on our menace things at all. So I could put a get vanguard. Wait, Veil of Darkness? Veil of Darkness. Yep, yep, doing that. <laughs> nice job, shark! <laughs> How dare you come into my... my my stream and start slandering sharks like this. How dare you? No one is allowed to bully sharks in my stream. This is this is a a, a safe haven for sharks. I I cannot understand. But I mean, like Part of me wants to say, like, I, I appreciate that auto mod is at least thorough, but on the other hand, that's fucking stupid. Okay, pausing this silly conversation for a second. So I put Menesting and Lylene in together to breed. This is the one and only pair that will make this secret pal. Is Lylene and Menesting specifically. Nothing else m makes them. Because for anyone who wasn't here last time or is unfamiliar with pal world breeding, the way that breeding works is that every pal has a breeding power, and you average the power of the two parents, and whatever pal has the same breeding power as the average of those two is the pal you get. Which means that many different parents can have the exact same uh, pal as their child. But anyways, this is the only this is one of the very few cases where you can only get this pal through Lileen and Menesting together specifically. Okay. We're gonna put some of these extra eggs elsewhere. Okay, so. These are all menacings. That's random. Uh, how many do I have? I have a lot of dark eggs. I'm gonna put the mystery eggs up here. The mystery uh, frost, frostalian, and hell zephyr eggs. I've been told not to look up what the combination is and to just do it, so I did it. Thank you, uh, Oxman7077, in the last stream, for making the suggestion. We will see whether it was a good suggestion or not. Why can't I place this? 
There we go. Sure. Okay. Oh. I reset these eggs. I decreased the timer on uh, how long it takes for us to hatch things in uh, in this world. Just because straight up, if we're going to be breeding a bunch, there's no reason to make this like super extra tedious by making it last for fucking ever like between breeding things. So it's better to just make it actually enjoyable by not having to wait forever. So then we can keep moving through our breeding pairs and actually, like, achieve things. Okay, only things that are over an hour. Okay, now we need to go back and... Get the last few eggs from over there. Nope, this is not the right place. So, how are things going for you, Shark Bully? Oh, they still haven't created something yet? Hmm. I thought there would be one already ready here, but not yet, I guess. Let's uh Eh. Eh. So slow. Ah. Uh. I hate having to constantly swap my armor every time I switch between bases, because I, I need, we need electric heaters really badly. Oh, fuck, this is the wrong place. Damn it. We need to go to the cold, cold hatching zone. Those dark eggs are cold. Okay, so we have two spaces left over there, and we still have four more eggs left. Okay. Well, that'll help a little bit. I don't want to use the incubators downstairs because I know where everything is downstairs right now. I don't want to mix in random whatever these are. Okay, because those I know are menacing, so this entire section of empty incubators here is going to be uh the special pal that we're the secret pal that we're making. I'm gonna get as many incubators as I can in here without running out of space. The problem is that it's always so hard to figure out where you can put Okay, I guess I'm out of space. I, okay. Well, now we need to put... Now we need to busy ourselves for the next, like, 40 minutes or something. While we wait for things.
Yarmantide, get the fuck out of the way. You're t way too big. Okay, now I can actually walk around. I was just so full of milk. And eggs. Sounds so bad saying that. Okay. Secret pal. First secret pal. Wait, what? Oh, I'm freezing because it's the middle of the night. Which also means that no one is bothering to use my heater. Grr. I quickly made a heater between streams. Yeah, now you're finally using it. What? What? I need a heater at night specifically. How is it beneficial that my heater goes to sleep at night when I need it? That's not a good system. Oh wait, this is the cold area. Okay, secret egg. Okay, now while we wait for things, we need to get some... No. No. We need to get our Bushi. So that we can deal with Ice Pals better. Then we can go do some other stuff. You know what? I'm not going far. I'll leave my Frostal in here. Yeah, there are Nocturnal Pals, but... Actually, that's a good idea. Hold on. I think who is fire and dark? Blaze Howl is. We don't have that many trees around here for it to get distracted by. I'll swap Ragnarok with Blaze Howl, seeing as they both have the same ability level. Wait, what? Do I have multiple Ragnarok's? Oh, I do. That's that's the artisan one. Okay. Hopefully the the heater will not turn off at night. Now. So thank you for the suggestion, Ron. Also, I do have a solution for this problem. Wherever it is. Electric heater. Warms the nearby area and protects against colds. So, if I get three points, I can get an electric heater for this area, and electric cooler for the other area. Those are really loud sound effects. Okay. Look, Astagon. What do you want? Focus him at me. I could use Lunaris. Imagine it'll be useful to meld it with other things. Ooh, Lunaris is swift. Nice. Okay, and Fangalope. Deal with these guys. Okay. Let's see if we can get any future research. Any future tech manuals or not. An ore room. That's a through room, and this is a through room. Oh, this was one of the straightforward ones. This is right to the boss, then. 
<gasps> An Alphedrin! Ooh. Gentle Sky Dragon. Okay. Oh my gosh, he has such tiny little wings. So cute. That'll keep you in the circle. A bushy could hit you. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? I don't know what that was. Oh, actually, I think that's Pal Blast. Which is a normal type move. Or a uh, neutral type, I should say. There are no normal types in this game. Alright, let's not hit them too hard now. I do ideally want this pal. Oh! Oh! Oh gosh, those seek! That must be a Elphedrin special move or something. Fun fact, Elphedrin actually is one of the only other pals I know of that ha that can breed a secret pal as well. So, I'm glad to have that. Okay, what do we get? Pile Metal Helm schematic. That's the thing we just made. <laughs> and Thermal Ender Shirt plus two! Yes! Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. That means we can just use Heat Resistant Pile Armor and Thermal Ender Shirt plus two now. And we don't even need to have cold, cold Pile Armor at all. That is awesome. That just saved us two spots in our inventory. I can stay in here. That can stay in here. And that can go away now. We already have the Palmetto Helmet. We have that. We have so much money in gems now. I'm just not spending any of it, because I don't really need anything right now. I'd rather stockpile it. Should I try to get some ore out of this place before we go call it? Because it is... it still is open. Let's, let's go see what ore is in here, because I think... There was an ore room, so maybe... I mean, there's probably some coal in here. I mean, I can always use Paldeum, too. Hmm. Might as well stock up if we got the chance. Rain money on me. Okay, that's all I can take for now. Rain your sugar down on me. Sugar me, daddy. Uh... I need to make my own playlist at some point of songs I know I like, because I like most songs from Outer Tones, but not all of them. Once in a while, they pick up something that's kind of strange to me. 
Whether it's strange to other people, I don't know, but it's strange to me. Okay, right, what's in this room? Ooh, chest! Gold key, nice. Let's get some coal. Wow, coal is heavy. Look at look at my my weight go up. <laughs> That's crazy. This might be kind of dangerous, but I'm gonna overload myself. You know, to a certain point, I question the value of upping weight in this game. Like, I've upped weight... I don't think it'll tell you how much I've upped weight, but I... I think the default weight's 300, which means I put 10 points into it. And I am very routinely overweight. Even if I have an entire party full of bronze cherries or king pacas, like... It just doesn't feel like enough ever. There's just not enough weight in this weight reduction in this world that can withstand the amount of weight that ore weighs from even just like one or two rocks. And yes, I did increase the amount of ore you get from rocks. That is true. But it doesn't feel it just it feels ridiculous how ex like how heavy it is. It, it's not fun <laughs> how heavy it is. Like, Paldium makes sense. Paldium is one pound a piece. That's very heavy still, like, realistically. But it does allow you to have a bunch. Ore is eight pounds a piece for no goddamn reason. And coal is five pounds a piece, which still is ridiculous. And so is pure quartz. Like, even if they were to normalize all of them at three, I still would be happy. But, like, I, like, I, I feel like even five is too much. Can I get it to force me to climb up? No. Glad for some reason that nothing has respawned in this room. Because if there was things in this room, it might have been actually kind of dangerous trying to get away from them. Being that I'm triple overweight now. I mean, okay, it doesn't... <laughs> Your weight slows up to 50 pounds overweight, and at that point, you can add an extra 10,000 pounds and it doesn't do anything. I mean, I've had... Having 850 weight on me is the same as having 800,000 weight on me. So... Which doesn't really make sense. <laughs> but, I mean, with how ridiculously heavy things are in this game, I kind of prefer it this way at least, but I really wish they would adjust the way that works. Or at least add a setting in the world creation where you can set how much you want things to, be, to weigh or something. I don't know. Yeah. 
Now I'm just going to move everything at once. There we go. Ooh, I should bring the uh, hand makes your fan gun with me. It's pretty good. It's a very simple way of adding a bit of extra damage. Honestly, I don't even really need the spear if I have it. Okay, we're good. Go collect some of our secret palags. There should be a bunch of them made already. Yep, three more. I cannot wait till I get to show y'all what, what actually comes out of the egg, because I haven't actually seen it in game yet, so I'm excited. Especially because they look amazing! Might use them as one of my attackers, honestly. So I haven't really looked at the stats, but I assume the stats are going to be amazing, seeing as they're a god. Literally. Uh, okay. Cold area. Cold area. That's this one. Okay. Up away. We're almost done leveling. Oh. We're almost done leveling a lot of stuff that we need to level. Dig Toys is 66,000 XP from 50. Anubis is. What? Anubis is 310,000. Wow, that's a lot. And oh, Astagon leveled up to fifty. Oh, and got Dragon Meteor. Nice. Um, I mean, the unfortunate thing is, Dragon Meteor is kind of useless if you cast it. It's only useful if AI uses it. I find. So I guess I can leave that there for now. But. Hmm, whatever. Anyways, Astagon now has his last move, which makes me happy, because that'll make him better for breeding. Frosting's finished. I want to finish off both of these. I also want to breed Alphedron. Because I want to make Alphedron's secret pal as well. What are you? You're a blue. You're blue with Conceited. Increased work speed, reduced defense. It's not too bad. Oh, Mystic Whirlwind! That must have been the uh, one that looked like the Grass Whirlwind. The Grass... Grass NATO or whatever it's called. Which is Elfedron's exclusive move? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that was Pal Blast earlier. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to swap this out a little bit. That works a lot better. Um, I don't know what to breed with Elfedrin to get his special creature. Let's look this up. There it is. I need a Serpent. Uh oh. Um, okay. I should have... Okay, good. I do a bunch. Okay. Do I have any decent, like, work speed ones, seeing as this is already work speed boosted? I also think it isn't bad, but it's not, like, really good. <laughs> Might get workaholic. Okay, good. And this is a pink one anyways.
Come here, Noodle. And we will breed uh, our new dragon with our Noodle. I'm to Noodle a dragon. And for that, we're going to need some cake. Wait, do we have cake in here already? Yes, we do. We have, we have 95 cake in there. Okay, we're good. <laughs> the eggs should be done soon. Good. What else do we want to level? Actually, I kind of want to level Blaze Howl, because Blaze Howl has Dark Flame Lion, which is neutral pals drop more items when defeated, which is really good. Dragon plus Wiggly Boy equal profit? <laughs> Yep. I mean, we'll be getting the secret, uh, the secret pal from them as well, which is what I'm excited for. Which is definitely what I'll want to level. I could level Grimjow for Yellow Tank. But I would like to get a better Grisbolt for that. Because, like, getting a pal to 40 is not that hard when you have... High 40s uh, and 50s pals already. So this isn't actually like very high for me. It's just once you're in the 40s that it matters the most. Anyone I really want to level? How can I make Grizzbolts? Grisbolt is Mossanda and Rayhound. Uh, we have Mossandas, but they're not really amazing if I remember correctly. Um, I mean, they're okay if I can use a male one. A blue one. I don't know if I have a pink Rayhound, though. I do have a pink Greyhound, and it's earthquake resistant, which is nice, because that reduces ground damage, which is an electric type's weakness. That's not bad. Okay. So Greyhound and my blue Mossanda. Put you out. We need to put out a new breeding area, though, to do that. Wait, why can't... Oh. God damn it, because there's pals everywhere. That's why I can't place it. Okay, hold on one second. I'm going to shut down my base. Except for the breeding ones. Just so I can actually, like, see what's going on. What... What are, what are you interacting with that is in the way? There's nothing in the way. How in the way is that? A little bit? Not that bad. Oh my gosh! Look at his tiny hammer! Look at his tiny hammer! <laughs> oh, I love him! Oh my gosh, why is your hammer so tiny? <laughs> oh, well, that's, that's, that's just delightful. That's what that is. That's delightful. Running something down. Oh, says the hammer, it's how you use it. Well, he used it very well. Okay, you're fucking, that's good. Right, I need to stop using that word. Actually, I've already said it, so it doesn't matter. I need to stop saying fuck, because eventually I will want to monetize my content, and eventually that will be a problem.
Doesn't matter yet, but I would like to be able to monetize my backlog when the time comes. Though I think I need like a thousand subscribers on YouTube and I have 93. Well, I mean, apparently shark is a really bad word, so I, I don't know if that's advertiser friendly. Where are you? There you are. Nope, 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 nope. Stop running around. Wait. You have pink eyes. No. No. Oh, good, you're a male. Okay. For a second, I was wondering if they were going to do, like, blue eyes for the male and then pink eyes for the female. Uh, which is stupid. Also, these are both... These, these are both blue. Damn it. Really hoping for someone I could use for things. I want a combat one. Okay, so I need to swap one of these. Either I need a pink Rayhound... Oh, I have two identical Rayhounds. One of them is pink and one of them is blue, and they both have earthquake resistant. That's that's actually great. God, you are a giant noodle. How big the Ormontide is by comparison to like the like the boss one to the normal one? I guess ridiculous. Because the Ormontide Ignis is the same size as the normal Ormontide as well. That's just because that's a boss. Thankfully we are going to be sending him out of the base soon, so we will have actual room. Just not yet. Yod's dragon egg. I think these like to be warm. Oh wow, so many lilines ready. Get some good lilines. Vanguard, it's not bad. Oh, this is too cold for dragon eggs. Uh yes, there is a Yormantide saddle. I have the basic Yormantide saddle. I do not have the Ignis Yormantide saddle. That one's a work slave. It's actually useful. That's a Vanguard Stronghold Strategist. That might actually... I might want to use that as my combat Lylene. 10% increased attack, uh, attack 10% increased defense of the player. That's really good. Okay, we're good here. Okay, so y'all are doing the thing. Y'all are doing the fuck. And y'all are doing the fuck. So we're good, and... Okay, these... See, that's straight pairing. And this is straight pairing. Okay. Unfortunate, but... We must reserve the gay pairings for later when we don't need... Bebes. Bebe. Wait, we have a dungeon right over, right to the west of us? Is that true? Stallion. Put you out, seeing as you can fly and rush. Where's the really cool Eileen? That's the really good one. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, most of the Lylene's are female, actually. And we got a male Lylene. That's really good. That makes me really happy, actually. Just because Lylene is very feminine, and I like femboys. I mean, what? No. No. You didn't hear me say that. Okay, time to level up this Lunaris. Lunaris? Lyleen. Okay, you're about to level. You're about to level. Okay. Cool. Let's do it. Let's go see the, the other dungeons open. You are a gorgeous pal. Just wish it was easier for to descend with flying pals. That looks closed. That's closed. Take the lift monk. We still need more lift monks. Oh, that just straight up killed them. Okay. <laughs> That looks like a huge egg. Ooh, I can see all the lift monks right now. I should grab some because I think I still, I still need like a little bit more before I get the last uh, catching tier. And realistically, it's more, it's efficient to finish doing that. Just so that I have to spend less spheres in the future. Chest, 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 XP. Lyleen already is leveled from 1 to 29. Is there any more of this island I just haven't seen yet? Might as well... Explore what I can. Wow, that's a long way up slash down. Uh-oh. 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 Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> uh. That was close. Ooh, lift monk. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, ooh, red chest, red chest, red chest, red chest. Solar Rifle Schematic. We already have that one, darn it. See another Lift Monk down there. Why do I have a bread marker over there? The... Uh, the bread marker should be here. No, the bread marker should be here, actually. That must have been my guess. Though I use the bread markers for skill fruit trees. Uh, for context. 
there is not actually a giant loaf of bread there. As much as that probably would make some people happy. <gasps> Red chest! So we're come back too! Yes! That's good. This the assault rifle's amazing, so that's really good to have a better version of it. And going up in levels of rarity is a big deal too. I can't wait for our secret pals to start actually hatching. I'm so excited. I really, really want to see the first one specifically. The second secret pal I don't care about as much, but the first one... Yes. Uh, oh, I can't sit down there. I can't... Uh-oh. Okay. I'll sit down in one of these places. Just be careful. I don't want to slide all the way down into the ocean. I can avoid it. It's because there's a lot of ocean here. It's just a long way down. I appreciate that this game doesn't have fall damage or pals, at least. Which direction is that? Oh, that's, um... That's Lillian Lilene's tower. Okay. I'm wondering what that was. Where am I? Okay. There is still stuff below me. Uh, uh, am I still above land fully? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, okay, I guess I'll kill you now. Actually, I don't have any hang you, Christ. I should probably catch this. I do want to finish my Aldex. Even if I don't really need the XP for anything. God damn it. There we go. Hydro laser. Oops. I was hoping to like split the damage between them so that it didn't kill them, but that didn't work out. You, I'll stop sitting on you so you can eat. There we go. Don't think I have enough Maria. Ooh, the the ice effect from uh, the added ice damage from being on Frostalian is really cool. This is probably small like. Is this ground? This is ground. Okay. I was worried that this wasn't ground for a second, because it's so dark. Hard to tell. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Ooh, chest. Chest! Spheres. Always hoping for more rolling keys. Okay, what do we have here? Ignis Breath, Sand Tornado... Pow Blast. Pow Blast! Yeah. Another golden key? Good. Oh, we should... Act actually, we could go over to... Uh, we we'll go over to the other town, actually. I don't... Have I showed the town on stream yet? There's a th the third town? I don't think I have. This is the third town over here. Oh, Flusty Arts, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the community.
That's okay. I'm glad to get on them. Reminder that anyone who talks in chat is entitled to getting a pal in, in our world. This is the desert town here. It has a few nice things in it. Also, it's cool because it's surrounded by cannons for some reason. I like the lore of that. This is a PDF area. Actually, this reminded me. This this uh. Yeah, chores can suck. This reminds me, though, I've been uh, testing something uh, in another world. I made a creative world, which basically I just, like, maxed out a lot of the settings so that I could level as quickly as humanly possible, just so I could have a place where I build stuff. And I also added, like, increased pal rates just while I was leveling so that I could... Uh, level faster and something interesting happened when you double the amount of pals that spawn in the world for some reason it doubles the number of bosses so all the bosses have friends with them for whatever reason which is bizarre and unnerving hmm get some rifle ammo I could use them. Soft hat, silk hat, tricorn, exploration cap, grinning taco, taco hat, catcher's cap. Kind of want this, but it's not going to be as good as my palmetto helmet. I'll buy it. Okay, so we can buy seed mine, stone cannon, and sand tornado here. We want to put sand tornado on anyone we can. Keep it in mind, but I'm not that interested. Then we have a pal merchant here. Mm, none of them are really interesting. Also trying to be kind of careful about selling in my pals now that I'm breeding, because I keep finding scenarios where it's like, oh, I probably should have sold any of those, because I actually need them now for breeding. So, I need to... Trying to not sell any pals, really, if I can avoid it. Okay. We're done in that area. What do we have around here, anyways? We still haven't explored a lot of the desert, though I will say from experience there's not a lot here. <laughs> oh, we should have north, actually. If we skirt the uh, northern edge, we'll eventually go around to the... Uh, to, like, one of the legendary areas. Which is exciting. I'd love to, like, actually get a chance to see the legendaries up there up close. There's two up there, specifically. Also a good thing to do while we're waiting for our pals. Is that... no. Just a basic electric egg. I'm gonna pick less basic eggs, just because we have enough going on with our incubators right now, and I don't really... We already have, like, 40 incubators going. I don't really want to have even more if I can avoid it. So if something's, like, a common egg, I kind of just don't pick them up anymore. Especially because, like, we also don't have much room in our PAL box. It's another big problem. 
So I've started to notice you can put things in, like, a lot of stuff in viewing cages and use those as extra PAL box spaces, but you can't see them when you're looking at the PAL box. So that is another danger. What's this? Is this a canyon? No, it's just a divot. Frogs are great. We have a royal frog in path gifted to us by our gracious Ron King 34. And Blizzard Spike. Yes. It's worth it. If you're in the desert, it's really worth it to kill the clusters of Syndicate people, because they drop rockets, shotgun shells, gigaspheres, and money. Kind of hard to argue with all that. Oh wow, I didn't realize- I didn't expect that to actually kill them completely. That's nice. That uh, didn't work. Rusty wing. Lots of ammo. They're so good for ammo. Ooh, chest, chest, chest. Oh, purple. Purple isn't bad, but... Ooh, more dig toys. I need more dig toys, as always. Well, okay. That did not help me get more dig toys. That, in fact... Just added more murder. Okay, we still have enough food. If monk. Man, Frostellian eats a lot. Did it? Okay, it did kill the Crusher. For a second, I thought it didn't. Mm, lots of tasty Gigaspheres. Eek? Small eek? Small eek. Oh, apparently, we have a lot of bread, too. We put that in the list. Is that... That's a chest. For a second I thought that was a, uh... Not a music disc, a, uh, iPhone. That is not what I meant to use, but... Darn it. Gotta be careful, because these guys can also have rocket launchers. And I kinda don't want to get rocket launchered. How fast is the crystal wings on the ground, I wonder? Let's see. Pretty fast. I don't know if it's faster or, or slower than on the not ground, but... In the sky, right, that's the word. Not not ground. <laughs> Do you like living in the not sky?
Yes. Give me ammo. Wait, why isn't Dick Toys getting experience? Oh, Dick Toys finished leveling. Nice. He's got Rock Lance. Okay, that's what I was actually hoping he would get. Cool. Shell Spin, Sand Tornado, Rock Lance. That is a very nice setup. Rock Lance is good. Ooh, red chest, red chest, red chest. Oh shit, my inventory's full. Metal Helm Schematic 1. Wow. That is... That is certainly something I picked up. Now is it? it? <laughs> well, I'll bring it with me because it is worth a thousand gold. Thousand gold still not a small amount of money. Also, if you just want to like chest farm, holy shit, can you ever find a ton of chests around here in the desert? There's always so many. Okay, this is getting a bit dicey. Oh, okay, no, that's it. I worried there was more syndicate guys coming over. Who? Lord Rocky? Lord Rocky? Lord Rocky? Ugh, fucking hell. I can get ore in other places. Also, I have pretty much everything you get from frozen eggs. If this is the type of game you like, you will like it. It is a very good game. I certainly would be someone to suggest it because. It is a lot of fun. I uh, used to play a lot of Conan Exiles, and I've always loved Ark, though I haven't. I was never able to get into it because of like how grindy it was. And this is very much like those games. Plus, like it has a tiny bit of like of Pokemon thrown in for people who like Pokemon as well. It's very good. One of the sad things that I will say about it, though, is that a lot of people have not given it, like, a huge chance. Like, they will go play for the, through, the, like, the first 20 levels, and then they're just done, and they never talk to the game again. Like, they're only there for the hype, and it's just kind of sad, because this game, like, is really good, and it starts to open up a lot more later, especially, because you actually have a chance to, like, breed more and stuff. Okay. I've heard of that one. Is that the one with the half-naked models playing volleyball? If I'm completely off by saying that, you feel free to say so, but that's what I know of what I believe to be Dead Island. I also might be thinking of some other game. <laughs> and I mean, if that's what if that's what it is and that's what you like, that's totally fine. I'm not no no shame. But uh I I am just trying to like place what it is. <laughs> oh no, you said naked.
Uh, these were like, like living people. I remember it was like a zombie-related game, which always felt kind, of, which felt kind of weird because nothing about it seemed very zombie. <laughs> So, I might be thinking of a completely different game, but, uh... Uh, I remember the Game Grumps played it. That's the one. I'm thinking of the one they... They played a bunch of iterations of. I don't know if you watched them. Oh, oops, we passed the uh, legendary accidentally. I didn't realize we turned. Only life models are a British woman and a woman in a spacesuit, okay. Alright. Uh, oh. I, s I saw Grimshaw laying down, I was like, Did you get killed by something again? No, I need to clear my inventory because there's a lot of eggs for us to pick up. Okay. I have some familiarity with Dying Light. Not a lot, but some. <laughs> okay, uh, we're, I want to make the mattress hat. Oh, that was really easy to make. And I want to make the assault rifle. The better assault rifle. Oh, 120 refined ingots. I mean, that's expensive, but it's also worth it and reasonable. Catcher's hat goes in there. Put that in there for now. Okay. How many more can I make? That's more than enough. Do what I want. I mean, if it's a zombie game, they're tends to not be a huge amount of variation between them, I find. This is the warm one. Okay, I can put electric eggs in here. Cold. Oh, I guess I just need to add a little bit more heat to this place. Is it because of the window? Does that does that matter? No, wrong thing. No, it's not because of the window. It must just be out of the range of the campfire. Uh, also, that isn't a slight on zombie games. Like, I love zombie games, but there is a lot of similarities between them. <laughs> oh, I look forward to playing uh, more Seven Days to Die at some point. when Probably when Alpha 21 comes out. Or Alpha 22 comes out. Not 21. Lots of Lilines. Which is good, because you want to be able to uh, put them together. Artisan! Artisan and Lileen. Yes! Oh, that's so good. Sexy. What zombie game do you miss? I'm going to max my PAL box, like, any moment, and that makes me kind of sad, because I don't want to max up my PAL box. Again. 
Daisy, huh. I used to... I used to watch Scene Enders play Daisy. I mean, he hasn't been active in a long time, to the best of my knowledge, but... I think that probably explains how long it's been for me. It was always, like, a very interesting and strange type of game for me. So these are all menace things. No, these are Frostalian Nox. Oh, okay. So Frostalian Nox, that is one of the other. <laughs> I think I only know of three secret pals. Frostalian Nox is the third one that I was not intending to make. Which is just, like, the dark version of, uh, Frostalian. Oh my god! Legend Ice Emperor Ferocious. That is a one hell of a setup. Okay, and there's a bunch up here. What are all these? I don't know if you know what these are. Oh, these are just all Frostalian Nox. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have a lot of these. Not that I mind. As we have a legendary dark type now, which is something I definitely have been lacking. I can't believe we got a legendary Ice Emperor. Um... Legendary Ice Emperor Ferocious one. That's really good. Oh. Yeah, we maxed out our power box. <sighs> I, I am not a huge fan of how much struggle there is with making sure that you have enough space in your pal box. It is really rough sometimes. Makes me sad. Lots of Grizzbolts. Well, that should make them all comfortable, and any other, yeah, electric eggs and bird eggs are going to be a bit hot, but that's fine. Whatever, I care more about the, uh, wait. What are these, then? No, these aren't, these aren't Grizzbolts. Grizzbolts are the huge electrics. What are these? Oh, these are the, um, Elphedrin, uh, Serpent. The, the dragon noodle combo. These are the Grizzbolts. Thirty-five seconds. Okay, just for just a second, I'm going to remove that fireplace so that these finish faster. Once those are done, I will put this in its place. Oh, shit, I broke this. There we go. Oh boy, a Joel Tug. <laughs> Oh boy, a second Joltog. Now I'm gonna put this back. The dragon makes me warm. Okay, time to deal with the problems we're having. Really wish we had room 
Do you have room for another viewing cage if I get rid of this? Can I, like, put it off the edge a little bit? Insufficient material. Oh, because I'm outside the base. Right, 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 right. Where's must be on the ground? I just... I just want to be able to, like, have extra space. It's like I need an extra account just to, like, hold all my pal box shit. Mm. I don't have room for it really anywhere. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to dump all of... Actually, no. I can, I can minify the Frost Alliance really quickly. Because I already know which one I want to boost. Since we have this one, the Legend Ice Emperor Ferocious one. It got a Hydro Laser! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that got passed on. That's really lucky, because none of the others got that. Legend Ice Emperor Diet Lover. I think that's, that's our best female, probably. And we'll upgrade the best female as well. Okay, so those just exist as our good ones. And now we have our Lilene. So we have a really good Lilene now. We also have a artisan one, which is going to be our wandering around the base one to be good. I think actually this Lilene will probably replace one of our Lunaris. Then we'll upgrade uh, our main Lilene. Oh, I also need to be careful to make sure that we have... Okay, we do... Okay, ours, our good one is a male, is a blue, and we have uh, our other good Lilene, which is a pink. That's good. We have a nice little set. Fragrant Foliage? I think that boosts grass damage. Having a PC is very nice, I will say that. another female right there. Upgrade with those. Vanguard, Dragon Killer, then Mine Vanguard. Okay, I'll take those. Minify some more. We do have, we have our work slave menacing, which is the original, which is good. That's very useful. What's Steel Scorpion do? Electric Pals drop more items when defeated. Okay, so I want to upgrade that. Okay. Ooh. Boy, that's nice. So we have 
We have a pink one with a uh, serious stronghold strategist and motivation motivational leader. Though I guess those are all kind of conflicting, aren't they? Well, that's okay. That's going to be a. I mean, it's work slave, so it's going to have reduced effectiveness. So that's not even going to be all that useful. Actually, I don't think we have any menace things that are, like, specifically good. This is the most balanced one we have. And since this one's already leveled up, I will just power it up as well. Yeah. I don't know what to do with all my fell bats. Okay, I'm gonna borrow the viewer cage here and put a few extra things in here that I don't know what to do with. I dump the fell bats in. I don't know what to do with those at all. And we have a random amount of Mamorists, which aren't very useful for most things, honestly. Like, they're only level 2 at best of anything. They don't even have, like, crazy good stats or anything. They're cool, but they're not amazing. This one has Vanguard Stronghold Strategist. That's pretty nice. Then I have a large amount of Bronze Cherries. Always good. You upgraded Hellflame Lions. I'll put the extras in here. Extra Cryolinks. Extra Azerobes. Actually, this out. X. Those are all flame boosts. I need those. Okay. Some of those are set up. I want Wixen for anything? I don't know if I want Wixen for anything. Well, the first one's good. The first one and the swift one. Those are both really good. I'm going to combine those. Because we can pass Swift on to other things that need it. As there's definitely some stuff that I would benefit from having Swift on. Tons of Ragnahawks. Tens of random beacons that I have no real interest in using for anything. <laughs> we have so many mammoths! I, I wasn't even paying attention to what it looked like. <laughs> We just have a stack of mammoths. <laughs> oh no. There's there's not much room in here. These might not be what you would call humane conditions. Oh no! <laughs> There's just so many of them! <laughs> oh, I would feel bad if I cared. At some point, I kind of just have to, like, make some hard decisions and get rid of some pals, because I don't have enough room for a lot of the shit that I want to... I just don't have enough room to, like, pick things up anymore, and that's such a big problem. Okay, well, there at least are the Jolt Hogs that were on the ground. 
Which, honestly, I don't even want, but I have them now. More basic dark eggs. Yeah, this is why I shouldn't be taking common eggs ever any for any reason. Okay, the common dark eggs look like they have some benefit. I didn't realize I didn't have enough cognitos yet. This should be a menace thing? Oh, there it is! This is our second uh, really awesome uh, uh, secret pal. Once I put things in proper order. Lyleen knocked. Oh, look! Oh my gosh, look at the stars in her ballroom dress. She's so pretty. Oh, she has, um... Her bottom half reminds me of Cosmone from Pokemon. Obviously nothing like it, but like the color, the color swatch is the same. She's so pretty. So she is the second uh, uh, secret pal that we've unlocked. Lilian knocked and uh, Frostalian knocked now. And we still have these guys who are going to produce their dragony friends. Uh, do I have a uh, four, seven? Maybe I have enough dragons coming out. It's ten dragons. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're useful, though. Lilene Noct has one act Goddess of the Tranquil Light. When activated, the Queen's Soothing Graces greatly restore the health of players. It's good. Okay, Paldex. I'm sorry, it's so annoying. <laughs> That's interesting. Lyleen, a docile pal full of love. It watches over small pals who've lost their parents. It uses a full power solar blast to discipline naughty pals. <laughs> and Lyleen knocked. A elegant pal full of grace. It admonishes any who are disrespectful with a painful slap. Some pals actively seek out this punishment. <laughs> okay, so... I mean... The internet really has, like, gathered around the phrase, step on me, queen. So, I mean... Here she is. <laughs> Here is your queen to step on you. With grace. <laughs> She's so pretty. Okay. I want to put on the Catra's cap, but it's really not good, like, stat-wise. Oh my gosh, I'm so cute. <laughs> oh, I love that, though. That's really cute. Uh... Okay, maybe I'll wear it for a little while. Yeah, Frost Alien. The, the Frost Alien knocks look really cool. Well... Let's see. Be written as flying t flying mount changes the player's attack type to dark. Hence, dark attacks will mount it. Oh, and I, I need a different. I need a different sa sa salad saddle for a frost alien knocked. Unfortunately, I don't see. I'm pretty sure that frost alien saddle would fit on frost alien knocked, but okay. Oh, we can get the uh, electric heater now to keep this base, like, not awful. Infrastructure, we can make it. 
Okay. Holy shit, this is big. Um, okay, no, get out of the way. I didn't ex I expected this to be smaller, I admit. What the fuck? Um, where I put the heater? I think I put it out in this corner. You don't overlap with their objects. You're not overlapping with anything. There's nothing here. What are you struggling with now? Does this have? Is this like massive or something? Why can't I place it anywhere? Something's... Something's off. Oh, I can place it up here. Apparently. Okay, well I guess this is where it's going. Okay, well, I shouldn't need pals to interact with it for any reason anyways, since it's electric. Right? You're not going to tell me that I need to heat this, right? Because there's no point to using electricity with it, right? If it's already being heated by a pal. Power online required kindling. Fuck! What's the point in that? Yeah, it's just straight up not working because it needs to have power and kindling. What's what's the point in having it then? I could just have the cheaper one. Maybe it raises the temperature more? No, your is not coming over here. Okay, um... Okay, well that has to be elsewhere. I can't put it in a place where they can't access it if I need them to be accessing it. I would love to put it in the corner here, but for some reason it's not, not allowable. I have yet to see a place where you can put it at all. Honestly. Oh! What? What was that? The what? Oh no! This is one of the stupid ones where you need to stand on something. Oh, I fucking hate those. Okay, well I'll put it over here then. Okay, well I'm gonna make myself a stool, literally. I'm gonna stand on the stool. And I'm going to place the heater. Yeah, now you now you want to fucking work for me. Stupid. Stupid little bitch. It was go eternally going through like my list of potential insults and trying to find one that was like more PG. Because I don't care about that, but advertisers unfortunately do. And one day I want to be able to monetize things. I need to learn beforehand how to not just say what they consider to be swearing constantly. Okay, there is way more than enough of these dragon eggs now. I'm going to I'm going to pull Serpent and Ephedrin out. I I cannot handle any more things. Do I have enough Grisbolts? I probably have enough Grisbolts for now, so I'm going to hold off on getting more. Just until I know whether I need more or not. I need to go through all of... 
Why do I have so many Les Punks? Okay, well, that's part of the problem. Okay, I'm going to do something bad. You might not want to watch this. <laughs> Look away, pals. Flam organs. These things can drop silver keys. And that is what I would prefer to get from killing them. But this will free up like an entire inventory or entire box, basically. So I have to. Well, I mean, I could sell them instead, but I would much rather have the drops. No, I don't want to pet him. I want to butcher him. Actually, if all I'm getting out of silver key chests is is, reason, is things to sell for money, I could just sell those instead of even bothering the silver keys, and then that entire cycle gets gets ignored. These things drop technical manuals or not? No, they don't. Okay, I'll just I'll sell them in that case because a I don't really like butchering things; it feels wrong. And B, I don't like butchering things, it feels wrong. <laughs> Anyone I want to level? Like, really level? Wow. Oh. It's like I level the artisan one. That wouldn't hurt. Just while we're waiting to actually get a Lilene knocked, that is good, because I don't really want Destructive, which increases Sanity Drop. Okay, let's go sell all the Les Punks. That will help. What? Oh, I, must, I have a Frost Alley on the ground. I forgot that I forgot to pick up. I'll have to go pick that up. It like, gives you the option in case you don't want to run all the way back to uh, wherever it was to uh, find it. I'm just gonna get rid of all the floppies. I'm never gonna fucking use them for anything. Never gonna use Capertes. Get rid of all the Les Punks. Cognitas are cool. I'm not gonna use them. I'll leave the ferocious one for breeding, I guess. Uh, am I gonna ever use the Loop Moons? Probably not. I'll leave the Swift one for breeding. Am I ever going to use the Robin Quills? Probably not. <laughs> Can I use the Goriats? Maybe. Green Sweeper, no. I want the Rayhounds for things. Do not want Lavender for any reason. That'll give me a little bit more space, and hopefully I don't have to worry about that for at least today. I really would appreciate if they would give us more space, because holy shit, do they not give us enough space. Like, 
Like, I thought we had enough space. I did. But with the whole condensing mechanic being a thing, you kind of need a fair bit of space. Sp like, for condensing and for breeding. So I should go pick up that Frostallion. Oh, I should also I should also pick stuff up from the other base too. <laughs> These are all Frost Allen Knox. I might have enough Frost Allen Knox actually to get the next upgrade. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Ice Emperor Legend Swift. That's perfect for a mount. Be pretty hard to get a mount that is faster than that. Yay, Lilene knocked. Veil of Darkness and Musclehead. That's really good. That's 10% increased dark attacks and 30% increased... Uh... Ooh! Diet Lover, Sayadist, Musclehead, Veil of Darkness. That's really good. Is that... Can I use that, maybe? That might actually be my, my Lilene knocked I use. So that's 30% increased attack. Say it is a 15% increased attack, and Veil of Darkness is 10% increased to dark attacks. I have a hard time saying that that's bad. And I mean, Diet Lover is always good. Okay, I will level you. One more line lean knocked, and we'll be able to power it up. That's so good. Going swift as well. Uh, that's nimble. Not as good. Just not as good. Okay, cool, so I'll run... I guess I'll start leveling those up, and Anubis still needs to be finished leveling. Finish, finish being leveled. I really wanted to have the uh, level 50 so it has the best... Uh, um, the ideal... Uh, whatever it is, Rock Lance, or whatever scale it gets, because then that can be transferred through breeding. It's ideal to finish that up. So apparently I have eggs that I forgot to put in places. Forgot to insert the eggs. Don't you hit it when you forget to insert the eggs. No! Fuck off, Lavander! Is it getting near night? I don't think it's cold here for whatever reason. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of eggs are unhappy. Like that. Oh, the dungeon's open again. Good. Need that. Well, I guess... No, I can't put stuff in there. I will put... Hey, extra eggs there, I guess. What was Lavender's ability, actually? Uh... I don't know. I've never bothered. She just upsets me too much. Or not upsets me, but, like, I, I, just, I just dislike her. It's not a strong feeling. Uh, well, fighting together grants the player and Lavender the lifesteal effect, which absorbs from the received damage and restores health. I mean, 
it has the exact same ability as Hellbat, which is better. Imagine walking down the street. It's pitch black with only one street lamp flickering in the dark. All of a sudden, you see Lovander running at you full speed. He's gaining on you. My god, he's covered in blood. There's blood everywhere. Reference to uh, actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. <laughs> Cannibal Shia LaBeouf. There we go, that's better. Need a bit more power in my voice. But yeah, Lavander's basically just a knockoff of uh um of Felbat. This reminds me of, like, the world turtle, just its elephants all the way down. <laughs> They're all- it's trying to fit them all in. <laughs> it's not succeeding. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, the view- like, it, the viewing cage is so weird. Like, it just- just watching the Memoras bounce around at the top. <laughs> Poor Memorist. Oh my gosh. Okay. How are we doing? Um... Refill the food. We are waiting on a lot of eggs. Oh, we should go check the other base again. There should be a lot of lightly knocked eggs there. Oh yeah, these are all lightly knocked eggs. I want a good lightly knocked. I'm going to need... Uh, 21 total. I have... Is this level 1 or level 2? I have level 2. Or no, level 1. Plus 3 more, so it's 4. 11. Uh, I need 10 more cakes over here. I want to get, like, the optimal number to get... Uh... A bunch of, of uh, Lily Knox. Bad Swift piece. Bad. <laughs> we will not talk about ketchup smoothies. I have I have to decree it. Prestellian's huge. Makes it really hard to, to like, actually pick things up. I drop the wool off, food off, work to refresh all the timers, place all the dark eggs.
You might not be wrong. But that doesn't mean I want to think about it. Is there any more others done? No, the entire upstairs is done now. Okay. Okay, so we are going to go into the dungeon. See if we can get some more dungeon stuff. Oh god. <laughs> Was not paying attention. But neither were they paying attention to how strong I was. Oh wait. Okay. Hold on. I am once again reminded that having large pals as mounts is bad. My fen glop. Okay. Okay, now. Yeah, unfortunately, Bengalope is not as strong as Fast Frostalion. Though, he would be pretty overpowered if he was, so... Not too unhappy about that. Oh, this is a different setup. Does this lead straight to the boss room, or...? No, it, no, it doesn't. Interesting. What are you doing? Okay, good. So you are actually... Yeah, no, you're not, you're not messing with me. You're done. Oh, wait, is this a turn? No, but chest. Nope. Go away. Oh, this dead end. Is there another way over here? Oh, yes, and there's a chest. It's purple chest, unfortunately, but... Which way is right, then, if that was not the right way? Ah. Yay, another Reptyro. Do need those. Oh, this is yet another dead end.
Hmm. Ooh, money. I guess this must be the right way. Wait, no, this is the way back. That was the way in. This is the way. It has to be. I think I have to double back. Yep, I have to double back. And Penglope took a lot of damage there. I can suppress that. I've had people say that to me enough times that I know how to suppress it. I think it's a useful skill on the internet. Might as well catch this. I do need more Reptile Chris, and I can also sell him. Thirty-eight. Ooh, another thermal undershirt plus two. Okay, so I can get rid of another thermal undershirt and stone blast. That is thoroughly unfortunate. Do not want. Do not want. I'm. I'm just gonna sell it. Like stone blast is useless, unless you can shotgun it, and that's not really a worthwhile thing. I find. Do I? Wait, no, I only need one of these. I don't need more. Whatever, I'll, I'll keep it and like my brain says you're, I need it for something, so I'm going to hold on to it for now. Get rid of the old one. Cool. That's that one done. I want to look into what it takes to do Jetragon. Because our biggest problem before was not having a pal that could withstand him. Now we have a max level pal and I've maxed Frostalian out with all its stuff and it's it's set up. You can, you can just see, like, a bouncing Mammarest. <laughs> Occasionally. That's funny. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, I want to make the better rifle. That is needed. I need to make a better rifle. Since the last time I tried this, I also have a better helmet, which is good. And I don't know if I was able to use an extra amulet back then, but I can now. 
I need more polymer. Ugh, creepy. Oh, I don't have... I'm used to having my Anubis with me. Now ah, things are fast. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking we'll do. We're gonna go on a quick break. Good chance to get water, stretch, change your posture, etc. Make sure to take care of yourself. Make sure to drink enough water. Water is always, like, the thing that people forget to do, especially me. I'll craft this hot rifle while I'm gone and stuff. I'll see y'all in about five-ish minutes. BRB.
Hey again, everyone. Welcome back. That's only like a 12% increase, but that is nice. Okay. So, I'll be honest, I'm feeling kind of wiped out right now. I don't know why. I'm just running out of steam, I think. Usually I'd want to run a much longer stream, but I don't think that's going to be possible tonight. I'm not going to end it here. I want to try for Jetragon again. But I think we're going to call it after, after the Jetragon fight. I need to uh, take some time to take care of myself. Hmm. Should I bring as a secondary weapon? Probably shotgun. Yeah, pump action. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to need the fire crossbow. Doesn't seem very useful for this type of fight. Okay, so I'm going to use a defense pendant for that for the fight because I won't need the thermal undershirt. Time to get the best possible food I can manage. I guess mozzarella cheeseburgers are probably the best. This is not necessarily going to be me catching Tetragon, I should say. There's a good chance that I will not succeed. But I want to try my luck and see what I need, still. Because I should be able to tell what my needs are. Actually, I don't need Ultra Spheres. What I need is Legendary Spheres. And my Pen of Diligence back. Okay, so we're going to make up some Legendary Spheres. We have enough ammo and stuff. We don't really have a huge number of ice-boosting pals. That's probably going to be where a bit of extra power can come from if this attempt fails. I am a bit concerned because Jetragon is the fastest pal I've ever encountered. Which is going to mean that it's going to be a really rough pal to deal with. But I want to give it a try. I just want to see how Frostalian matches up against it. Because I don't really see a point going through and doing a whole shit ton of preparation if Frostalian just ends up steamrolling it. Because I think Frostalian stats are double Civil X's. So...
And legendary spirit s spheres take a while to make. So, we're gonna, gonna need them. This will bring us up to 25. Which hopefully should be enough. 25 of those, plus we have, like, at least 15 hyperspheres. We'll be fine. Don't we all? Almost done. I feel like I have the plus two pen of diligence, or this would be even worse. Here's the music to something else. See how this goes. This is Outertone's dubstep and trap mix. Something with a bit more energy to it. Okay. It is time to Jetragon again. After the Jetragon attempt, that is when uh, we'll be calling the stream for today. Just so I can get some rest. I will be... The next stream I'm going to be doing after this is going to be... On Monday, I have a COVID shot, finally, on Tuesday. Took a long-ass time to... Managed to get there, but finally, yay! Which one is it? No, it's Foxicle that gives a boost to ice. I only have one. That might be a problem. Hmm. Did get. We do have some gobfins, which will help my attack at least. Didn't we also just get something really nice too, like multiple boosts on it? I remember. Yeah, we have a Vanguard's Trunkle Strategy Lilene. That'll be worth it, too. Okay, I will bring that one, too. So I'll have two Harvest Goddess, which will be able to help me heal up if needed. But I might still be lacking without the extra Foxicles. So we'll see. Nope. We'll see if my setup here is enough. I mean, I have boosted Frostalian a lot. I would love to get a Jetragon. It would certainly help clear up the uh, remaining areas in the map that uh, I haven't seen yet. Oh my gosh, Frostalian's so fast, I love it. It's like I'm riding a Pegasus. Oh. 
Almost flew into a building. Typical bird. Is this Jetragon's area already? Yeah, no, we just move really stupid fast on this guy. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Okay, so we need to fix something. Uh, I don't like Crisp Breath because it's going to stick him in place. I'm going to go for Ice. No, it's going to move too fast for Iceberg and Ice Cold Cutter. Ice Cold Cutter probably is the best bet. No, I'll just go for Hydro Laser, even though it's not Stab. I think that'll be the best. And it's gone. That's over there. Nope. Want to a light on here, if at all possible. Nope. Gotta find something to stand on that's nearby because I'd ideally prefer to not be in like too much danger from this guy. But here we go. That was 400 damage. That's awful lot of damage, considering. Uh, what are you- what's going on? Why are you not attacking? Hi on. Okay, swapping over. Okay, it's kind of ter- wait! Oh no! Oh no, Lava! Oh no. Oh, I just screwed myself. I walked backwards into the lava. Well, shit. That sucks. Let's try it again. I think I have the damage. That's fine. Is there another dungeon right here? I didn't realize there's a dungeon here. I will note that. Okay. I'm happy that at least with Frostalian I'm moving a lot faster, so the time between the fight and uh, me getting back to it isn't that bad. Let's... Whee. I need to stay away from the lava this time. It's so hard because the uh, the lava there is almost completely black. It looks like just like the area around it, so it's so easy to step into it accidentally without even realizing it. Okay, jet's down there. Okay. Okay. Got the increased attack damage. Anywhere I can, like, hide around here that would give me any amount of protection? Not really. Like, this is- this place is 
I think I think it, like kind of intended so that you can't hide from him because he is ridiculous. Hmm. Darn, there's nothing I hate more than having to fight him fair and square. <laughs> Wait, he can't fly. Hi, Ox. I forgot that he can't fly. I made the uh, Frostalian Nox that uh, you suggested. No, not that. Oh, fireball. I need to not get hit. How can you do two fireballs? How can you keep casting fireball? Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, you missed death. <laughs> now, I, uh... Today we've made, uh... The three secret pals that you can only get through breeding. Lyleen knocked, uh, Frostalian knocked, and, uh, the last one we haven't unveiled yet. Yeah, it, it surprised me because it, uh, I really kind of expected to, uh, like, I was intending to make that later. <laughs> it's not right at the beginning. Like, it's a little bit later on because we need to actually wait for the eggs to hatch. Oh, fuck. nice. Oh yes, that's actually a good reminder. Remember to uh, subscribe to the uh, VODs channel, because we only have four subscribers so far. For all the great VOD needs. Maybe I should bring him into the water. Would that be safer for me, maybe? I don't really want him just chucking fireballs at us from wherever he is. That wouldn't be ideal. Oh fuck, I'm out of range. Okay, I'm gonna wait for my stuff to recharge. Because that did not go well. I'm going to make one more attempt, and then I'm going to call it if uh, I don't succeed. Well, I mean, if I succeed, I will call it as well, because I'm not feeling the greatest. I did want to work. I did want to try this, but I'm not feeling the greatest. So I want to take some uh, time to just do self-care. I might stream tomorrow or like one of the other mornings in the next few days just to kind of make up for the time, but we'll see. I'll be streaming on Monday night instead of uh, Tuesday night this coming week, just because I'll be getting my COVID shot, and I won't be able to really move my arm on Tuesday night, so that's kind of a problem. That's okay. I'm fine, I just need some time. Was it Spike? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, good, I stunned him out of it. Hey, he's already down 1,800. Grenade. Why is the grenade not taking effect? Okay, there it is.
He's ignoring me, thankfully. Yeah, this is... This is looking good damage-wise. Where the fuck did my Frostalian go? What did you do to my Frostalian? Yeah, he did. Wow, he has taken a lot of damage, actually. Oh, he reset. Interesting. Or to his original location. Like, he didn't actually reset fully. No! <laughs> okay, that's not good. I am burning. Tastes like burning. I want to be not burning, please. Much better. Can I have my shield back? Yeah, I still got singed by it. That's what set me on fire, but it... It was a bit rough. I hope I didn't go too far away. Shit, I went too far away. God damn it. Well, I'm going to make use of this. I can do sneak damage to him. You know, shoot at me. Leave my Frostalian alone. Okay, good freeze, good freeze. Oh no. Okay, may I regret this. Ignore me, ignore me! Go back to ignoring me! Nope. Spike him. Drop and crystal wings. Don't go in the lava. Spirit fire versus hydro laser. I think my hydro laser is going to win. Yep, just hit half now. Don't want the fire to hit my ice type. That would be really bad. Shit. Harvest Goddess me, please. Good. That was perfectly timed. Now I need to go up, 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 up. Thank you. No. I Frostalian's giving me ice damage on my attacks, which is really useful. No, 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 no. Okay, now I need to back away. Oh, holy shit, he has to go 16% already. I can't let him hit me or I'm fucked. Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Ah! Okay!
Oh, Nightbot, stop being a dick. Yeah, I don't know how to get Nightbot to stop doing that. Yeah, could you unpin that, please? Actually, I can just unpin it. Figure out which one. No, I can't unpin it because you pinned it. Unless I pin over it. Alright, there we go. I need to figure out why Nightbot keeps, like, randomly getting rid of messages, because... Say, like, having all caps in one message is, should not be a reason for it to just delete the message on me. I disapprove. Anyways, Jetragon! <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that is a fun way to end the stream, at least, because, man, I, uh, yeah, no, that's, uh, that was really dicey at the end. Like, he almost killed me multiple times, too. The, uh, being able to bring Lylian out for the Clutch har Harvest Goddess was, uh, really, really important. Because that definitely saved me. Though, the first Lylian just died instantly. <laughs> Unfortunately. I had to- s I sacrificed one accidentally. Uh They all level like forty. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Oh my gosh. As soon as like as soon as I finished that, like all of the energy went out of my system because I was so excited and then just like Oh, remember? You're tired? Oh, yeah, no, you're tired. Just thump, down to nothingness. <laughs> so I'm gonna end the stream here. Thank you all so much for watching. Everyone who's here and has been here, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you again to Felicity Arts who followed today. I appreciate it. If you want to see anything that you missed or see more streams from us, you can look at, at Black Hat Streams. We have two streams a week minimum. And... You can check out at Black Hat Studio for our highlights. If you haven't already followed the Twitch channel, please do. It is highly appreciated. We need 10 more people, and then I reach affiliate status, which means I can actually make money on Twitch. Yay! <laughs> Thank you all so much for your help today and your support. Reminder that we will be having our usual Tuesday stream next week on Monday night instead. 2 p.m. PST, 5 p.m. EST, same time as usual. I hope you all have a great night, and see you then.